From the start, both Ben Johnson and Harry Carey Jr. were members of the famed John Ford Stock Company. Ford, whom many consider the greatest director in motion picture history, had directed Harry Carey Sr. in a number of silent westerns, and the two were lifelong friends. In a way, young Carey was born into the stock company and called John Ford Uncle Jack. Ben Johnson, on the other hand, spent his early years in Hollywood as a stuntman and a wrangler with no ambition to become an actor. He did, however, often work for John Ford, and while acting as a stunt double in Fort Apache, an incident took place that was again to change Ben Johnson's life. Well, I was doubling John Agar and Henry Fonda in Fort Apache. And I'm sitting behind the camera, Ford's up on the parallel, and the munition wagon comes by on a road and turns to the left just beyond the camera, and I'm sitting back there horseback, and when they made the turn, the wagon turned over. and had three actors inside it, and it's dragging towards a sheer rock wall. And if it hits the wall, it kills all of them. And fortunately, I was in a position where I could run in and uh, stack up the teams and stop the runaway. And when we got it all cleared away, um, Ford got down off the parallel and he came over and he says, Ben, you'll be well rewarded for this. So I thought, you know, stunt man, I'll get another doubling job out of this. So in about two weeks, he called me into his office and he said, uh, he handed me an envelope about that long and he hands it across his desk and he said, uh, have your lawyer read this. Well, it wasn't sealed, so I just opened it up and it's a seven year contract about that long. And the fifth line down there goes to $5,000 a week. That's as far as I read. I just, I got the pen off from his desk and I, signed a seven-year contract. I was with him for about six years until he went back into the Navy. And I might add that he was a pretty good education. For almost 50 years, Ben Johnson and Harry Carey Jr. have made enormous contributions to America's film heritage. Not only have they played important roles in films about our nation's history and folklore, but many of these films themselves have become part of that same history and folklore. And how would Harry Carey Jr. and Ben Johnson like to be remembered by future generations? You know, way down the road, like when my grandchildren are grown up, uh, how would you like to be remembered in pictures, Ben? Well, I don't know, Dob. I There's three things that we, I think, in this business have lost. I think our whole country's lost this, and that's honesty realism and respect and if i wanted to be remembered in this business i'd like to have that follow me now yeah, i think you're right i think that uh, one of the things that's kind of sad i watch a lot more movies than you do and i i must say i enjoy a great many of them but uh the honesty and the respect is something that i think that i just have to repeat what you said uh i'd like to be remembered for that too and i think uh that the stuff we've done most of our lives kind of is, uh, is in the vein that we were talking about. Anyway, I hope that uh, my grandkids and all of those kids that you put through school and their kids uh, will remember us that way, Ben. They will. Been good being with you. Thank you. <laughs>